Hey, what's up, everybody? <laughs> How's it going? Uh, just quick question: Does anybody like pain? But like the pain, like like if there's like a muscle right here, and like you push on it, it hurts, but it also feels good at the same time. That kind of pain. I think it's psychological, though. I think it hurt. I think it only hurts, but you know it's working. Yeah. See, I just released. See that that tension. So oh, what man. you don't know is that it before the video I just grabbed Travis and and I was like, ooh, you hit the spot. It hurts, but it hurts so good. Uh, ah, right there. it hurts. Anyways, uh, you might not know it, but these muscles, if they get too tight, will cause tension in your entire back. Yeah. So anyway. 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 Guys, oh, and in your wrist, right? Uh, Isn't that right? Yeah, right here. So, like, you could think you have carpal tunnel on your wrist, which you, you might. You might. But there's also something here that cuts something off. I don't know if your it's nerve a, or nerve something. Or circulation or something that actually affects your wrist. So. And so. You should try that. You should try stretching before you get wrist surgery. Yeah. Anyway. I'm not a doctor, so. Don't bank on what I would say. Anyway. Uh, guys, we got a reaction video for you. We got this link right here. You can find that link in the description box below the video. There's a blue link. If you click it, you pick it. You can request music, movie scenes, comedy skits, live performances, sports, all kinds of videos. Today's video is brought to you by Tim. Tim. It's always exciting to hear from Tim. Tim. Tim is bringing us Let's Dance. This is Kenny Loggins Footloose ending scene. Ending scene. Um, I have seen Footloose. Interestingly enough, I just watched Footloose recently. Mm. So that's kind of interesting timing. Anyway, uh, Tim says... Hello, Mr. Susie. <laughs> Why do you say it like that? Because in my brain I was trying to stop my mouth because I knew it said Travis, but it just kept <laughs> going slowly and sloppily. <laughs> Like, I tried to correct it. Oh, my it. gosh. All right, anyways. Hello, Mr. Travis and Mrs. Susie. How's everything going? Everything's going swell. Pretty good, yeah. yeah. I'm happy. Recently, so. you've reacted to Van Halen's Jump. It hit number one on Saturday, February 25th, 1984, and stayed there five weeks until Saturday, March 24th, 1984. I told you I celebrated those five weeks, and there was a story that goes with another Ooh, song. Okay. Let's this hear it. may take a minute or two, yeah. so please bear with me. Let's go. I will tell you this first. I used to go to a church that had a seminar and a dance on the first Saturday of every month. Mm. Oh, that sounds nice. That was Super Saturday. Well, a friend and I jumped when Jump was played. One time my shoe went flying off we were reprimanded i said oh, stop i said this song said to jump <laughs> well of course we went to church on sunday and whilst driving home we always listened to the bottom part of the countdown by casey Kasem. casey Kasem. usually the top 10 this song you will be reacting to climbed the charts and followed jump for many uh. weeks until finally, on Saturday, March 34th, 30, 34th, there is no March 34th. Tim didn't write that. Susie just said that, guys. Let's March make that clear, okay? March 31st, 1984, it took over number one and stayed there three weeks. My brother Dwayne always liked Footloose by Kenny Loggins, and it was played as number one on April 1st, 1984. My brother's birthday. What a great present. Nice. Back then, Van Halen's Jump was my number one of the two. Now, I have great respect and love for Footloose. And also, in fact, even had, it even has a movie with the title. Maybe a watch for you two someday. There used to be a guy named Paul Harvey. The older people know him. When he finished a story, he always ended it with, and you know, oh, and know you know the rest of the story. 
Now, Mr. Travis and Mrs. Susie, now, oh, goodness, I botched that. I'm sorry. He always finished a story with, and now you know the rest of the story. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Susie Q, now you know the rest of the story. I'll be in touch again soon, as, and as my brother always says, enjoy. enjoy. Awesome. All right, I'm sorry for all the ways I botched that. <laughs> This is going to be fun. Have I had my headphones on this whole time? Probably. <laughs> Should I put on some dancing shoes? Do you have dancing? Kids have to. Do yeah. you have dancing shoes? Are those? What I wear? These are these. I don't, I don't care know. what shoes these you wear. These will just slip right on. Because, you know, I might have to. Those are fresh, though. We'll Ooh, see. Show everybody. <clears throat> Woo! Look at that fresh, fresh pair of shoes. So it's between those? Fresh pair of shoes. Ah! Ah! <laughs> between those and these. They're both fresh, but those are the ones fresher. All right. Anyways. We'll see. We're, uh, we're on a tangent of shoe fresh. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Maybe I'll give... Uh, Maybe you'll do a footloose dance. We'll see. I'd like to see that. <laughs> Hit the like button and subscribe. Uh, this is going to be a special video isn't today. Isn't the footloose dancing like kind of on the ballet side? Or no, I, I don't know that I would do. this side? I don't know that I would do that exact dance. I think you should try. Anyways, oh there's no space. So embarrassing. There's no space in here for that. He would just run into the wall. <laughs> but, all right. Anyway. Let's dance! Wait, I am curious how close to the release of the song and this movie was. Oh, Did the yeah. movie help it bump up to number one or was it number one? And so they were like, we're going to make you this into the movie. Yeah. <laughs> To this day, Kevin Bacon still has glitter in his hair somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! All right. <laughs> Uh oh. 
this is so fun. I'm curious to know um, how much of it was like choreographed and how much of it was literally, hey guys, just have a blast dancing to this song because it seems really natural. Yeah. Like, I feel like now these people would be like our parents age, right? Yeah, probably. Something like yeah. that. I don't know. I don't really know the math here. But um, they still dance like this today. Uh <laughs> this guy's really good. This guy's really good. All right, let's hold on. Let's take it back. That girl, the her high kick. So, did you see that? Take it back to her cuz she that was she almost kicked her friend in the face. Oh no. This girl. Right here. Yeah. Right, ready? Here she comes. Y'all better be liking and subscribing to this one. That's all I'm saying right now. Oh here. my goodness. This is so impressive. Shake, shake, oh, my Lord. Come on, come on, let's go. I'm just saying, everybody and their mom and dad would would love to enter a stage like that, like like a dance floor. Like if you were like, "Yo, let's go," that, and we all just entered the dance floor together. Like, I don't know how they do that. That those, those I, now I don't know which one came first. How does I, one do I that? truly don't. But my reference here is Dirty Dancing when oh, he no. comes down. The hall like that, uh -huh. Patrick Swayze and like all the dancers. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like this is what, 1984, this song? Mm -hmm. I think that this might have been first, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know when these was movies ever... were released. I don't know when these dances were recorded, but that's cl like classic. Like coming, did, coming down a dance. Did Kevin Bacon and Patrick Swayze ever have a movie together i don't know or was it a competition or should they just battle well they can't now <laughs> john travolta should all oh, three of them. oh yeah yeah these are some some these are some great moves all i'm saying though is i'm still impressed at how much glitter is falling from the sky and yeah. um they didn't have filters like that back then. No, there's actual glitter all over the yeah. floor. You can see it. It's all over, in people's hair. In their lungs, maybe. They in their they eyeballs. Breathing it in. Breathing it. It in. <laughs> Anyways, uh, there happens to be a state in the United States of America where using glitter is illegal. And I can't remember what state it is off the top of my head, but... Hmm. <laughs> That was fun. fun. That was a good time. What an excellent request. I'm so glad we got to do that with you guys. Cause uh I had I, it was a party. It was I feel like it was just as much of a party here with you guys as it was uh on the show. 
So, so there. We know how to get down, don't we, Tim? Are you looking it up? Yeah, I want to know. While she's doing that, guys, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Alabama. Alabama. In Alabama, you are not allowed to use glitter or sprinkles. Interesting. I'm sure they don't actually uphold that, but... No, 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 no. I I mean, probably not. But, like, it's pretty funny when you look up, like, weird laws. Yeah. Like, sometimes it'll be, like, you can't... somewhere you can't have an ice cream cone in your pocket or something. Yeah, or, like, you can't bring a moose to a bar on Tuesdays and stuff like that. Like, it's, like, these these very weird... Those are fun. Oh, we should get a video with all those things. Those are fun. (laughs) Uh, anyway, thank you guys for hanging out. If you guys want to request your own personal reaction video, you can find that link in the description box below. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, uh, comment, stay tuned, stay positive. We love you guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye.